Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In our last episode, we broke camp at the Conrad Territorial Campground and drove north on the Yukon Highway, stopping off at Carcross for one last look at the ornate First Nations town. We then took a beautiful two and a half hour drive northeast to the small isolated community of Atlin Lake, located in the northwest corner of British Columbia, on the traditional lands of the Taku River Lingit tribe. This glacial-fed Atlin Lake is 4 miles wide and 85 miles long, in a wide wilderness valley surrounded by snow-capped mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. We then continued back north on the Atlin Road, some 60 miles back into the Yukon Territory, where we rejoined the Alaska Highway at Jake's Corner and continued south. It's another 4,500 miles back to our sticks and bricks in Melbourne, Florida, and we have been on the road now for 80 days and we are definitely tired, but we have quite a few places yet to visit on our long road home. It's day 80 of our current leg of our golden anniversary adventure, and we are anxious to head south, but on a different route than which we came here on. We plan on visiting the isolated town of Hyder, Alaska, and the only way you can get there is by driving the Cassie R. Stewart Highway from the Alaska Highway just north of Watson Lake, and then crossing the Canadian border at Stewart, British Columbia. Our destination today is the Lingit First Nations town of Teslin, some 70 miles away. You may recall that we passed through Teslin on June 22nd, some 52 days ago, and the Teslin River at that time was at flood stage. Although the town had excellent flood mitigation plans in effect, and just about every resident in the town had volunteered and worked tirelessly filling huge sandbags and using them to build a dike around the entire town, several parts of the community were nonetheless inundated with floodwaters. We camped at the Yukon Motel and Campground, a good Sam rated camp located on the shore of Nisultan Bay in a mosquito controlled area just a stone's throw away from a restaurant, souvenir shop and wildlife museum. We spent two days there enjoying a much needed rest, taking advantage of the laundromat there, emptied our holding tanks, filled our fresh water tank and filled the gas tank before continuing on the next leg of our journey, Watson Lake and the Cassie R. Stewart Highway.
We drive past the signpost for us and watch the lake and camp at the downtown RV park where we camped back in June for one night. It is located on 8th Street adjacent to the signpost forest. The owner, Archie, is a colorful character who resides off season in California. As the touring season is quickly coming to a close, we found the place virtually empty and we had our pick of campsites at the reduced U.S. currency rate of $45 and that included internet, laundry, water fill, gasoline discount and the dump station. Back in June, we had placed our golden anniversary adventure sign at the entrance to the signpost forest. Jane and I were very happy that we had found such a nice spot for the sign. Why are we here? Put up our sign. What kind of sign are you going to put up? This one. Cool man coach. Gold, Jane and Steve, gold anniversary adventure, Melbourne, Florida. Well, another traveler contacted us while we were in Seward, Alaska and notified us that some miserable person had placed their sign right over ours. Well, we are back now at the signpost for us to remedy the situation. I had to remove the sign that was covering ours and decided to move our sign. If one person was unscrupulous to cover ours, then it was quite predictable it might happen again. So, after removing our sign, I hesitantly remounted the sign that had covered ours, then remounted our sign on the rear of the entrance signpost, and there it will likely remain untouched. A footnote, almost a year later, our friend Traveling Robert spotted our sign exactly where we had placed it. So, success! We came back to the signpost forest, <laughs> see if our sign is still there, and, uh, and see if we find Someone we know, or someone we've heard of, someone we've seen on, on, on YouTube. All right, let's go locate some famous signs here. Check it out, Golden Anniversary is here. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. The next morning, we broke camp and headed to the start of the Cassiar Stewart Highway for the nearly 500 mile drive to Stewart, British Columbia and the port of entry to Hyder, Alaska. Be sure to tune in for our next episode as we stop off at Dease Lake and Kanaskin Lake and make our way south on the famed Cassiar Highway to see the bears and the incredible Salmon Glacier as we return once again to Alaska, the last frontier. <laughs>